Good morning. And you can see by my shirt, it is officially time for our summer reading program. It has started, and that means if you haven't signed up yet, you can still sign up. You can get a kit every week and take it home and make it, and it's a craft project, and it's a lot, I hope, will be a lot of fun. And I will put the link for the registration form in the post with this video. And then you can get signed up and you can start having fun. And the theme, as you can see this year, is imagine your story. And you see I have a dragon here who is hoarding books, so he's my kind of dragon. And my dragon and I, we are going to tell you a story. This, we're going to do it a little differently today. I'm not actually doing a flannel board. I'm doing, it's puppets, but I don't have a puppet theater. So we're going to use this, and we're going to pretend that this is our puppet stage. Can you pretend? Okay, that's good. You're smart. I know you can do that. Okay. So this is a story that some of you might already know. And if you already know, then you can tell it with me as I go along. And if you don't already know it, then guess what? You're going to learn a new story today. Okay. Here's our first Little doll, do you know what story this is? Can you tell? Okay, should I get started? All right, we'll figure out. If you don't know what story this is, you're about to find out. All right, so there was once a little girl. Here's our little girl. Who lived in a little cottage on the edge of a forest with her mother. Her mother had made her a beautiful red cloak with a hood. So everyone called her, can you guess? Who this is? Little Red Riding Hood. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother wasn't feeling well, so she decided to visit her, and she took along some food in a basket. Suddenly, a big gray wolf <gasps> jumped out from behind a tree. Little Red Riding Hood was very frightened by this wolf, but the wolf just smiled at her. Where are you going? He asked. Little Red Riding Hood told him, I'm going to see my grandmother who isn't feeling well. I'm taking a basket of food to her. The big gray wolf said, I need my wolf voice for this one. I'm sure those beautiful flowers would cheer her up. Why don't you pick some for her? A little Red Riding Hood thought this was a wonderful idea and started to pick some flowers. And while she was picking some flowers, do you know what the wolf did? The wolf raced to her grandmother's cottage and snuck inside. <gasps> what? Why is he? What did he do that for? Oh, in here. Here we go. Here he is at grandmother's cottage. And here is grandmother. When she saw that big gray wolf, what do you think that grandma did? What would you do if a big gray wolf came into your house? Just barged right in. She jumped out of her bed and hid in the wardrobe. That's like a closet, but it's not built into the house. The wolf put on one of grandma's nightgowns is stuck to everything else over here. Okay, put Grandma's nightgown on the wolf. Grandma's nightgowns still stuck to everything over here. Okay, and her cap, and he wrapped a shawl around himself. Okay, so here's the wolf. Here's the grandma. Does the wolf look like the grandma? He thinks he does. All right. Okay. And then he way in, oh, and then he climbed into grandma's bed. And he waited patiently. And what do you think he was waiting for? I mean, it's not grandma because she's hiding from him and he's not doing anything about that. 
Okay, so soon here came Little Red Riding Hood to the cottage with her beautiful flowers. Wow, Grandma, what big eyes you have, she exclaimed. All the better to see you with, replied the wolf. <clears throat> wow, Grandma, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, replied the wolf. Wow, Grandma, what big teeth you have. What do you think the wolf said to that? What can he do with those big teeth? All the better to eat you with, replied the wolf. Uh-oh. This is a really naughty wolf, isn't he? He wants to eat people. What do you do with a wolf that wants to eat people? Hmm. You know what Little Red Riding Hood did? She screamed so loudly that a woodcutter who was walking nearby heard her. I don't have enough hands to hold everybody up. So here's our woodcutter. And the woodcutter came rushing into the cottage. You see what he's got in his hands there? You might want to turn away this part. Or cover your ears. I don't know. He's got... He's a woodcutter and he has an axe and here's a wolf. He came rushing into the cottage and he killed that naughty wolf with his axe. Bye bye wolf. All gone. And then he and Little Red Riding Hood, who must have been hiding herself, came... What am I looking for? Little Red Riding Hood looked around the room to find poor Grandma. Okay, he put the axe down now. He's all done with the axe. Where could Grandma be? Do you remember where she is? Remember where she hid? They heard a voice from inside the wardrobe. Let me out! Let me out! It was Grandma! They helped her out of the wardrobe and sat her in a chair. They had some tea and ate some of the cake that Red Riding Hood had brought in her basket, and soon Grandma felt much better. And you know what? Never again would any of them have to worry about that big bad wolf. And they lived happily ever after. There we go. Wasn't that a nice story? I'm going to move this back out of the way. And I have two more puppet sets like that, so you get to hear two more stories with the dolls. But I'm not going to tell you what they are. You're going to have to watch the videos to find out. Okay, and if you liked that story and you want to read it again, and want to read it yourself and can look at all the pictures, we do have two versions of that story at the library here. And I will put all of these books in the post with this video so you don't have to remember what they are. They'll all be there for you to find. We have these two versions that were have been retold and illustrated. And if you want something a little different, the story, but told in a different way, we have some things for that too. We have we have we have Ninja Red Riding Hood, because every story is better with ninjas in it. And this one is by Corey Rosen Schwartz. Or we have Little Red Riding Sheep. I don't even know what is going on in this story, except it's got a sheep in it, so it's sure to be good. And this one is by Linda Raven Lotting is her name. And I will, again, I'll put these in the list. We have Little Red and the Very Hungry Lion. And this one is kind of a safari-themed tale. So you can do all just, just all kinds of different ways of retelling stories. You can find out what they are and then you can retell them yourself. This one is by Alex T. Smith. And here's another one. This is not just Red Riding Hood. It's a bunch of them. The Stinky Cheese Man and Other Fairly Stupid Tales by John Sheska. And he, he's got some pretty funny books. But he's got a bunch of short little stories that are all retold in a really funny way in this book here. And there's another one that I don't have 
whoops. I don't have it with me to show it to you, but it's called Honestly, Red Riding Hood was rotten and it's the true story as told by the big bad wolf. And that one is by Trisha Shaskin. Put that on the list. And if you want any of these books, you can come into the library and check them out, or you can get them through our curbside service. And don't forget, if you're not signed up for the reading program, you can sign up for the reading program. If you are signed up for the reading program, you can use any of these books when you log your reading. So make sure you come in and get plenty of stuff to do your reading for the week. And speaking of weeks, I will see you next week with a new story. See you later.